Hello, welcome to Cypress Automation. This is Sherful. In this lecture, we're going to learn about page object model in Cypress. We all know page object model is a very famous design pattern in automation world. So we'll see, uh, you know, how what is page object model, what is the benefits, and then uh, our next uh, few lecture will. Uh, show how to implement the page object model and also you know uh, how we can use it with a uh, some uh, real life use case okay so let's go in this lecture we're just we will get some uh, theoretical information about the page object model so that we all have some knowledge about the page object model so what is page object model so page object model is a design pattern in the automation world which has been famous for its test uh, maintaining approach and avoid duplicate uh, duplication so a page object is a class that represents a page in the web application under this model the overall web, applic uh, web application breaks down into logical pages each page of the web application generally corresponds to one class in the page object but can even map to multiple classes also it's depending on the classification of the pages this page class will contain all the locators of the web element as you need for your test purpose and also will will contain method you know so so that you can perform operation on those web element through the through the methods here is an example if we this is an high level architecture design of page object uh, pattern so you can see if you assume that you know uh, this is your web application design so here is a you know your web pages so in your web pages you may have a you know different uh, pages like home page product page billing page uh, checkout page and so on and then if we consider the page object model that you want to implement on this web object so that time you know you will have a individual class as per your uh, pages so for home page you will have a separate class say home page you know uh, based on your language like if you do in, in selenium java would be home page dot uh, you know java or if you do in uh, in cypress would be uh, home page dot js i mean there will be class home page class so similarly you know your product pay for your product page will have a product pay, uh, page class and billing page will have a billing page class and so on so every class you know you will have few different elements so all the elements from the web uh, pay, you know home page you need for your test purpose so you will have to put the locator give the idea all the elements from your web, uh, web uh, home page in your home page class as well as you will create a method you know individual method for each and every element so that you can call those method whenever you need for your test purpose so corresponding those classes you will have a separate your test cases so in 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 selenium you will have a separate test class or in in uh, cypress you will have a you know your uh, uh, test uh, in a spec file so in this spec file you know you will import all of your classes like you know uh, according to your your uh, different pages you will you can import over there so you can have a one spec file or more spec file it depends on you know how many test uh, test uh, spec file you want to create but any spec file doesn't matter how many but all of the spec file you can import you know any one of the related test class up there uh, so that you can call all the methods and elements whenever you need you know due to do or perform your test uh, uh, script okay or your test uh, execution so that's the overall high level uh, you know uh, architectural idea regarding the page object how its page object works so basically very simple every individual page will have an individual class where it will have all the belongings like all the web elements as well as you will create a method or function for each and every element so that you can call those function you know uh, after importing those uh, classes to your test script you can call those function over here and uh, and and your code will be very neat and clean and you can you know uh, uh, write your code very uh, clean or smooth way 
So what is the benefits? So it's a two different uh, the main benefits. It's uh, code reusability and code maintainability for the page object. So it's a code reusability. It means the same page class can be used in different tests and all the locators and their methods can be reused across various your test cases. So you know say home page if you some of the you know methods or elements you need for other uh, you know test cases regardless your uh, home uh, home page uh, test class or home page uh, test cases so you can call any one of the method any of the classes you know for you know again for reuse uh, reuse purpose again and again other than writing the same code you know so it's it's a uh, reduce your your uh, you know uh, your code and also it's uh it give you the more power to uh, reuse your code again and again so that's make faster your script as well as takes less time to execution and and it's less complex and then next one is called maintainability so this is a clean separation between test code which can be our functional scenarios and page specific code such as locator and method so if some structural change happen on the web page it will just impact the page object and not will have any impact on your test script it means say this is very common like you know in your uh, any one of the web page any one of the web element it can be changed you know the element will be changed so it could be your color a uh, color could be changed yeah the button could be from one place to another place so if any change happen on your existing page uh, uh, on your existing page or any elements for any elements so you know your script will fail because your script was based on your elements existing elements the previous uh, location previous properties but any properties or any attribute of that elements have been changed that you used in your test cases it will fail when you run your script next time so to that it means you need to adjust your test script so in that case you know in a real life it is a big part maintenance or adjustment your code is a big part so in that case page object you know give you a huge benefits because you know you you know that so you have a segregate separate classes for each and every page where you have all the web elements and the methods so if any or elements have been changed you know whatever the properties has been changed you just go to that specific page class and change your uh, you know the properties or elements according the new update and it will be automatically reflect on your test cases so you don't have to touch even your test cases and no matter what how many you know places how many test cases you use this element you don't have to touch any one of them because this is your central you know uh, control of your uh, the pages of your the pages uh, web uh, locators so whatever the change you just change go to that specific web uh, classes um, you know page classes and change up there up there it will be reflect each and every test cases so it's give you more control on your automation framework and it's easy to maintain so that's the one of the very big benefits for using page object pattern okay so I think this is pretty much very simple uh, explanation regarding the page object uh, pattern and and uh, in an, in our next upcoming class we're going to uh, uh, implement the page object pattern we'll do some example in the real life how it's uh, happen everything based on Cypress thank you so much stay tuned watch the rest of the videos uh, you have a good one bye bye